Excuse me, what are you doing? I need to talk to my senior. Can you get up, please? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> that's what you get when you're working from home. Okay, that's just how it goes. How's it going, guys? I feel like it's been a minute or two since we've actually seen each other. Um, welcome to my home office. Uh, you already met my daughter, Addison. Hi. There she is. So, um, God, this is really tough, isn't it? I mean, I kind of feel sorry for you guys because this is your senior year. And here we've missed out on a week of school. We're going to miss out on at least one more week. Now, just to put some rumors to rest, first of all, I want you guys to know there is no truth to the rumors right now that they've canceled prom and graduation. No truth to that whatsoever. Now, if things get more serious, they may have to consider that. But right now, we're good to go. Right now, we're expecting to be back. We'll be out this whole next week, but we're hoping that we'll be back to work on Monday. So hopefully everybody will be back and we can do a week of school. We'll do spring break and we'll come back and we'll just be, everything will be normal. It'll just be, hopefully, it'll be good. So uh, just some quick updates. Um, I'm trying to uh, do distance learning with 140 senior or 140 students and uh, one eight-year-old homeschooled. Don't ever homeschool your kids, I'm telling you. I love you guys because I only get you for like an hour a day. Imagine trying to homeschool somebody when they don't really want to do the work to begin with. It's not fun. So speaking of work, at this point, you guys should have read through chapter 11 in the Iliad. There are questions online. I'm going to want you to email me your questions. Either you've got chapter 6 through 11 read. You did them all on a Word document. You can just email me the Word document. If you hand wrote things, I want you to take pictures and send those to me. I want to be able to grade those and get those grades entered for you guys here uh, as quickly as possible. Grading window is staying open for third quarter for now because we don't know when we're going to be back. So we'll just we'll we'll have to play this by ear. We're just going to see how this goes. I do have a new assignment for you guys. Starting Monday, this is what I want you to work on. And I'm going to give you the whole week to work on it because I want you to polish it. I want you to make sure that you read your book in depth. And I want you to do the best you possibly can with this assignment. So take a look, guys. Here it goes. This is your assignment. For your assigned book, I'm going to give you guys a book of the Iliad that you have to read and detail for the rest of the class. So for your assigned book, this is what you need to do. You need to provide an adequate and accurate summary of the text. Summary should be long enough to cover all the essentials, but short enough to remain interesting. Think of the summaries that we've done in class. Make the appropriate connections. Now, the Trojan War is a mirror war. Remember that graphic I had up on my board? It's the Achaeans, the Greeks versus the Trojans. And that's a mirror for the conflicts of the gods. In each book, I want you to draw connections between the conflicts of men and the conflicts of the gods. Who do we see? How do they interact? Then provide examples of literary elements. We focused very heavily on the use of Homeric epithets. So I want you guys to find particular elements in that text. Look back at the notes I've given or the research that you have done on epics, the work of Homer, the Trojan War. Provide examples of any particular literary elements you provide, foreshadowing themes, etc. And then the Iliad is primarily the story of Achilles. Be sure to focus on the part that he plays in your assigned book. Then I want you to put this all together in a semi-formal visual presentation of some sort. PowerPoint, Prezi, etc. You're going to walk the class through the book, providing connections for things we've already read, and I will help fill in the blanks. And then I'm going to provide a worksheet that you'll, you're going to have to fill out on other people's presentations, providing a summary of their information as well. So that's the assignment, guys. You've got a week to complete this, this Monday through Friday. And... Keep in mind, hopefully we'll be back together on Monday, March 30th. I want these presentations ready to, ready to deliver on that Monday. I want you to be able to stand up in front of the class and give this presentation on your assigned book. So with that in mind, here's the assignments, guys. We're just going to go right down the list alphabetically. We left off with book 11. 
That means, Taylor, you've got book 12. Bubba, you've got 13. Ashley is 14. Kenzie, you're 15. Isaac is 16. Charles is 17. Jack, you're 18. Caleb, you're 19. Olivia, you're 20. Maddie, you're 21. Morgan, you're 22. Will, 23. Anna, last but not least, 24. So we're going to detail the rest of the books in the Iliad. I want you guys to be able to provide these uh, presentations. Again, print out the presentation for me. Make sure that you can uh, deliver that presentation on Monday, March 30th. If for some reason that changes, I will make sure I get a hold of you. Make sure you're checking your K-12 emails uh, at least once a day. Make sure that you are checking out my YouTube channel as well. That's where this is going to be posted. Guys, I miss you. I love you. And hopefully we'll be back together soon.